All right, guys. What I'm going to show you today is how to flash a ROM to your HC2 and how to remove the SOP, which will then allow you to mess with your phone and insert ROMs. All right, you're going to need two things here. You're going to need the HPL3 package, and you're going to need a ROM. Both of them can be found on xdadevelopers.com. Right here, I'm going to be following this tutorial by MSKIP on how to flash around. I'll provide the link to you in, in the details. And show you exactly what to do. And also the ROMs could be found on XDA. They'll be right here. I'll also provide you the link for those. Want to be careful what ROM you, you, you do insert onto your device because you, you, you can break it, break your phone if you install one that has a radio you're not supposed to be installed. All these here should be saved. I prefer this one right here, the Energy ROM. They're fast, they're stable, and they've got all the programs already built in. And if you don't know what a ROM is, I will show you here. Right here. I want to pause the video and just read that real quick. This is what a ROM is. Basically everything inside your phone, the operating system and the programs are composed of the ROM. First thing you want to do to get started is turn off your antivirus and to remove the SIM card and the SD card from your phone. Again, turn off your antivirus and remove the SD and your SIM card from your phone. And plug your phone into the computer. Also make sure you already have Windows Mobile Center on your computer. If you're running Windows XP, you're going to need to get act active sync. Just plug that for you real quick. It's my phone right here. And you see here that my phone will connect to my computer. And it's connected. Alright. Minimize that. The hard SPL3 package could be found right here. Also make sure you back up your contacts before. If you want, you can download this program right there. All you do is just click on it and follow the links to it. You just install, you drag and drop the program onto your phone. You run it from your SD card and follow the steps. It'll back up your messages, your call logs, your contacts. It's a very easy program. Yeah, I use it all the time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flash the hardest PO. Download link is right there. Just click on that and you'll get sent to this page here, right here. This is exactly what you want. You want to make sure it's this exact same link. Just download that, extract it. I'm not going to download it, but I'll show you all here how it looks. All you're going to do is just click on there. there you go. Save file. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to download it. I already have it. And, all right, let's get started. Remember, antivirus off, SD card, and SIM card is off. This here is my phone. That way, y'all can see what's going on as we're doing and installing all this here. Let me check out my antivirus off. Okay. If you're running XP, uh, if you're running XP, you, you don't have to right click and run as administrator. If you're running Vistas, Windows 7, you're, you're, you guys are going to have to do this. All right, let's go and run this package. Run as administrator. It's probably you to know. You probably won't see this on the video. It's one of the warnings to Windows 7. You just click yes, and you're gonna get sent to this page here. So make sure you say yes here. And right now it's there. You can see my phone is starting to boot up by itself. And don't get freaked out. It's supposed to have that tri the tricolor screen. Alright, so it's asking me which one I want to install here. If I want to install, it's telling me that one I have installed onto my phone right now, which is the stock ROM that came with the phone, is 2.10.000. It's giving me the option to install 2.08 HPL or 2.08.000. The one that came with the phone originally, when the HD2 was first released, was the 2.08.000. 
and the one we want to install right now is the two point the two point zero eight HPL. So you just click on that one and move this out of your way and click next. And don't be surprised if I skip through this when I'm edit editing the video. There you'll see my fungo the screen just turned off. And it prompts me, do you see we we hacked it on the device? I can see that right now. I'll see if I could get it on there for you. But actually let's see here. It does say we packed it on my phone. Yeah, it's not going to show, but my phone clearly says right here we packed it. And it has a little happy face. So just set this one back down here and click yes. The program will now turn off. Successfully done, okay and your phone will shut down again. Don't freak out. Like I said, it's supposed to happen. Now this allows us to insert any ROM we want. I'm going to insert the Chucky Droid ROM, which is a ROM that's mostly used for people who are also running Android on their phone. Due to this ROM being very light, it's fast, it boots up very quick, and you just use it to boot into Android. Like I said, you don't have to use this ROM specifically. There's a lot of other ROMs. If you don't want Android, there's very good ROMs out there that have a lot of programs already built up onto it. So it's a very fast ROM. Like I said, ROM download link is right there. I'll give it to you all in the details. Let's start with this one. All these ROMs here. And it could all be found at XDA Developers. Right there. And you would go into the T Mobile USA HD2. And then go to ROM development. Right there, you'll find all the ROMs. You'll find the ROMs that came with the phone originally. You'll find ROMs that were, were made. Like, again, I know a lot of people use N Energy ROMs. They're said to be one of the best ones. A lot of people use this one here. And there's also another place to find ROMs, but you don't want to go there because those ROMs are actually for European phones, but many of them are in interchangeable. But just don't mess with that. Stick to, to, to the lead I, I provide you. All right, here. Now, what, like I said, what we're going to do is flash a. Right See my phone booted up again? Just click cancel. You're going to get this screen because you don't have your SIM card. Now that installed. We're back on, on the exact same ROM, the original ROM. Okay. Now that we have hard as peeled, installed onto the device, like I said, we could flash our ROM. I already down, downloaded a ROM here. All you would have to do is over here, let's see you want to be energy ROM, just go to energy ROM. And here you'll see that it is for T-Mobile USA compatible ROM. That's what you're looking for. And you would just scroll down here. These are the different ROMs he has. This one is a stock ROM. What you would do here is click on download, and here he has the links to all the different ROMs. Like I said, these are very good ROMs, very really fast ROMs. These ROMs already have Wi Fi, well, the Wi Fi router built into it, has a video player built into it. Like I said, these, these ROMs are the best ROMs out there. If, people, if you people are suffering from lagging on your phone, your phone freezes, a lot of these ROMs do clear that out for you. Alright. Alright then. Let's see. Like I said, I've already downloaded my, my ROM that I'm going to flash for you all today. I would just have to right click on this file right here. Like I said, you download the ROM, click like this, you extract it, and you get these two links. All you do is just right click there and run as administrator click OK you also want to make sure that your phone has 
at least 50% of, of battery on your phone. If not, this is not going to work. Again, make sure you have over 50% battery on your phone. Also, make sure you have your, your antivirus turned off. Your SIM card and your SD card should be removed from your phone. And you would just click next here. Again, next. And it's going to ask you, do you want to update your ROM? Currently, it's showing you we have this ROM here, which is a stock ROM. You click update. And now we're going to be updating to this one. From to, we're going to upload this one here. Now you would click next. And I'm click flash. And what you're going to get is a progress bar. If you see your phone, your phone does turn off, it goes into bootloader mode, which is perfectly normal. And then it should show a progress bar on your phone. There you go. The progress bar will match this one here. And another thing you should always keep in mind is never let your screensaver come on. It, does, it doesn't take long for it to, to load the ROM, depending on which ROM you have. This one's a light ROM, so it's going to go very fast. Make sure your screensaver does not load, because it could disrupt the, the, the process here and possibly break your phone. So just keep your mouse moving uh, as it installs. Also, once you finish installing, your phone's going to turn off. When, when your phone turns off, what you want to do is clear the data from the old ROM. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold both volume keys down at the same time and you're going to do this after your phone shuts down. I'm going to shut down and hold both volume keys down at the same time and it went back into bootloader mode and when it turned on it's now asking me do I want to delete the information that's on the phone What's at, what, what it's asking you, you want to delete the information that was from the previous ROM, which is yes, you want to delete the information. You should always do this when you flash a new, a new ROM. And you would just click the volume key up. Can't see here. It's actually erasing it as we speak right there. And it's getting rid of anything that was left by the old ROM. And now it's asking me see it but it's asking me if I want to restore complete and just click volume up and it's going to turn off at this time you could pull the battery if you want and reinsert your sim card and your SD card and there you go my new ROM is now being booted, booted up like I said this is a small little ROM it's a, it's a light ROM meant to run at Android and it, it boots up very quick let me X out of this here. You'll see it says finish. It was done successfully. And did program run correctly. If you're running XP or Vistas, I don't believe you're going to get this, this window here that I'm being prompted. And it does take a while because it's doing enough for the very first time. There's a progress bar here. And it's, ask, and it's just showing me that preparing your phone for the first time. So it's going to take a while. So you just let it load up. And after that, it's loaded. That's the new ROM. Like I said, this is a very light ROM. It's not meant to be nice looking, nothing like that. It's only meant to to, the, to boot Android on there. Also, I'm going to show you how to boot Android onto your phone. But for now, I just want to give credit to two people. Watch me. Two people for the tutorial, which is Mskip. If you if you found this helpful, he, he and you want to donate, you could right here at the bottom. You could donate to him, and also to the guy who provided us with the hard SPL three, which is right here. Donate to him, and you could right there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be much. You got a dollar or two or something. Just to show appreciation, appreciation for these guys' work. Alright. 
that should be it for this video.